Hello everyone, I'm back. Uh... Hi, um, yesterday I got my channel back and everything is back to how it was. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> so, last Monday, if you noticed, um, my channel became weird. The channel name changed from Joanna to Tesla Foundation. The picture was changed, the banner was gone, the videos were gone. Out of 132 videos that I had, only 22 was left. Also, my about page was gone. The whole milestone thingy that I wrote every time I hit a certain milestone was gone. And I couldn't access my Google account. Basically, my account was hacked and my channel was hijacked. But fortunately, I was able to contact Google and I was able to get my account and channel back in two days. So, that was good. <laughs> because all the videos that I watched regarding this problem, um, it took like at least a week before it got resolved. Some even took months before it got resolved. And... I'm happy that it got resolved quickly. Thank you, Google. Thank you, YouTube. <laughs> what happened was, um, maybe a week ago, um, a company, a VPN company reached out to me to work on a possible collaboration. I wasn't suspicious at first because I'm just excited to be offered a collaboration at the time because I'm not monetized yet. Oh, by the way, I'm not monetized, so please don't skip the ads. Thank you. <laughs> we talked over email and then they sent um, this uh, particular email attaching a Word document consisting of what I need to say in the video and a link where I can get the promotional video materials. And I should have been suspicious at that time because first, um, the construction of the sentence in general was weird. Although I try, I try not to be judgmental when it comes to speaking and writing English because to most of us, English is not our first language. So I was like, maybe they just aren't native English speakers, so that's why their English is kind of weird. But now that I think about it, it should have been not weird because if you are a business and you're trying to reach out to people you should have a proper and formal communication also i should have been suspicious because what they sent was a word document not even a pdf usually people send pdfs because they can't be changed unless you know how to convert a pdf to word so that was the second hint so what I did was I downloaded a word file and look over at the text that it said so what I had to say then I had to click to the link wherein I would get the promotional video materials and here I was not really suspecting of anything um, I just went to that link and download a zip file but when I downloaded a zip file, it contains a video with like 124 megabyte size, but zero seconds of play time. So basically, it doesn't work. <laughs> it will not play at all. So um, I looked over to the website and tried to download the installer of that VPN. And I tried to install it. And again, an error dialog box showed up, so it wouldn't install. I went back to the website and checked um, what can I do. And actually, the website looks a little bit legit. <laughs> when you look at the bottom corner, there's like a review from a famous review page or something. And mentioned like an excerpt of the review saying that the VPN company or the product of that VPN company is great. So I tried to search that review. It doesn't exist. 
also and there is a rating for the app store so i tried to search the app on the play store for the android and the app store for the ios it doesn't exist so why would you put a score of 4.6 for an app that doesn't exist and finally the last stretch of it all that confirmed my suspicions was the little icons at the bottom when you like want to connect to a company through their social media facebook twitter and youtube when you click them the page will just reload so basically those accounts don't exist and just set up so that when you click it will just go back to the same page <laughs> i didn't really think about that i was just okay um, i was excited for the product because i wanted to try vpn and also excited for the pay <laughs> but yeah it's just a scam so just let it go and then so when I woke up that next day at like 4.40 a.m. I tried to open my YouTube studio app. It doesn't let me. And when I tried to open my Gmail, it wants me to sign in again. But I'm shocked to see that my name was Tesla. Hi Tesla. Like what the... So when I tried to put my password it said that the password was changed three hours ago and i was like i didn't change my password i was sleeping so i tried to click the forgot password but the options left there for me to open the account was either send a code to my email which i cannot open because i don't have the password for or send a code to a cell phone number that the last number of the cell phone number shown there was not my number my number ends in four seven and it showed that the number ends in three seven so it's useless trying to get the code because i couldn't receive the code because it was not my number so that was what happened so lesson learned do not click suspicious things although at that time you wouldn't think it suspicious but this is your gut if it's sus it's pro it probably is <laughs>
which at first was like really frustrating because yes it is compromised I was at. that's why I was trying to reach out to him because my account was compromised but yeah I think this is just the standard operating procedure that you have to confirm if it's really compromised so after that we just like exchange emails from time to time um, I email my concerns especially when I notice that the hacker or the hijacker made some numerous changes on my channel when the person deleted all the community posts i was really worried uh, of course my community tab was important and because all your requests on that thread and all those questions on the thread was deleted and i didn't take any screenshots of them because I was relying that when I need to record a cover and I was looking for requests, I will just look at the thread. Also, the hijacker deleted comments. The heart attack video had like 24k comments. But when I refreshed it, it suddenly became 22k. So where was the other 2k? For the other heart attack like the full version one it had like 5k plus comments and then suddenly it became 4k something so i was like really worried what the person would do next it's like he's slowly ruining my channel <laughs> also i told them that i was about to release a song this saturday spoiler so i was worried that i couldn't like promote this song all together because I couldn't use my channel we just exchange emails so every time we have a concern I email them and they usually reply in a few hours or so um, that Tuesday night I noticed that my account was locked because I tried to sign in again but then it mentioned that my account was locked I thought that they freeze or they froze my account so that the hacker can't also use my account so I think that was the time I realized that, oh, they are really doing something. <laughs> On Wednesday, they told me the good news. <laughs> they gave me a link and then um, instructed me to do specific steps so that I can take my account back. And the hacker was from Korea. Why? <laughs> Bro, why? time of incident was around 2 a.m. so this person had an all-nighter just to hack my account the dedication wow <laughs> so, so that's how I got my channel back in two days I'm really thankful to Google and YouTube for um, dealing with my problem so quickly I'm also thankful for the two people who were sent to my case at YouTube support um, Angel and Aline, thank you so much. Also, thank you to all my friends who, who tried to help. Um, also, thank you to my subscribers who reached out to me for helping me in any way that you can. And thank you for waiting for me. Lastly, thank you, Lord, for not letting me down. <laughs> I guess that's it. So I hope you find this video helpful. Um, yeah, again, please. Um, take care of your accounts well because getting hacked is really stressful so yeah um, I'm gonna see you in the next video thanks for watching and thanks for constantly supporting me on this channel bye